So Antigua Shipyard, you don't get a better Terran versus Zerg map in the map pool than this, don't you? Would you uh, would you agree? Uh, for sure. Yeah. Um. So yeah, let's just see what Pasolang has planned here for us. Um, he is the last man standing for Team Nightmares. But uh, yeah. Right now, all he has to do is beat four GSL Codes players, and his team is gonna get the victory. I mean, sounds yep, pretty, pretty simple, much. Right? Yep, yeah, it's, it's simple. I mean, it's he basically has to win GSL Codes. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Tim will win. In one day, he just has to win yeah. GSL Coda, so that's no yeah. problem. Like whatever. No problem. Hey, he does have the latency on his side. That's true. That's very true. So, yep. Yeah. So it's going to. Uh, it's still going to be, you know, maybe maybe a little tough, but you know, I have faith. I believe uh, our Terran hero can do it. Well, you know what? If he eliminates. Lenoch in the first round of GSL Code S, which this is what we're assuming it is, mm -hmm. it would be really good. I mean, I think he would go a lot more confident into the other matchups. Also, mm -hmm. uh, he's probably been studying his opponents, and his opponents probably haven't had a way to study him. Therefore, he has that advantage going for him as well. That's true. He, uh, he probably does know the style. He also has seen uh, him play versus teammates in the past, so he saw like the game where there was the three factory uh, triple reactor Hellion Rush. So he saw like mm -hmm. the outcome of that and how he reacted to it. So yeah, I'm curious to see what kind of strategy he plans on going with. We actually do see a, um, a second depot before gas. So it doesn't look like he's going to go for any kind of gas. Looks like Terran's going to go straight into a command center. Yeah, perhaps he was just walling off. I love that. And uh, he's playing it safe. He's playing it good. Lena going for a standard hatchery, but then taking the guys really fast, similar to what we saw Ostergy do earlier. Yep. And we'll see if he plans to be aggressive for this, if this is just for safety, or if this is just, I don't know, I, I don't see much reason to this. But we'll have to wait and see what Lena has planned for this gas. Like yeah, just, I, really has you know, a lot of great players like Demaga and stuff love the gas before pool versus Terran, but... I don't really find it uh, it accomplishes that much. I mean, yes, you can get link speed much quicker, but I don't know right. what link speed is really going to accomplish. Like, what do you need link it, speed for that fast? I mean, I would see it. I, I would see it for scouting, perhaps. But then again, there's easier ways, just such as just leaving a Zergling outside when you first scout with first two Zerglings, and right. kind of hide it and then scout with that. Um, but uh, yeah, other than that, I don't know. Unless you're planning to make a bunch of links and try to break up uh, Hellions early on, but that seems risky. So I'm, I'm not sure really. It's, I'm, I'm not sure what it accomplishes. Yeah, not really sure. Um, so here we have two queens started instantly. We still have uh, lots of drones in production. He is going to make a couple pairs of zerglings, and I usually do this too. So you can spread them out. You can make sure that you kill any scouting SCV or anything like that. The longer yeah. you can keep We're players likely. in the dark, the better. Yeah, we're likely going to see him scout around and then pull back a couple of those circlings for defense. Keep one at the watchtower and possibly one at the front of the turn's base to see uh, what's going on. So yeah, there's a two two circlings just staying behind for defense. Uh, he's going to leave one at the watchtower, I hope. Nope, he's going to go with both to scout the turn. And uh, yeah. I mean, this is all right, too. He'll probably leave one at the watchtower on his way back. And, probably. Uh, yeah, I doubt he he'll might... lose any marine. He, he probably got to instantly pull back. Oh, he actually oh is the lose lag. Back. The lag, brother. Was that the lag yeah. or? I don't know. It could have been I mean, latency. We have, to assume, we have to assume it has the, It was the lag. All right. We assume have it was the assume. lag. So uh, in a server for the win right there. You can count that uh, as a score. Yeah. And that's a, that's already a small victory for Mr. Pasildan. That is. And, you know, that could be a huge confidence booster, too, going into this. You know, like, ha, I've killed more units than he's killed of mine. Yep. Like, nice links, brother. And now he's forced to... Go ahead and take those links. He was parking for defense at his uh, at his expo uh, down to the watchtower. Pasildan not really going for Hellions or Reaper openers. So this is completely strange grounds for uh, Lenox likely. Or actually, I've seen a few people start doing this. This is this is he getting? No, he's not getting combat shields. I would love to see combat shields, and uh, this would lo look a lot like uh, like a timing attack that Cass really likes to do. He's getting yeah. Marauders though, but no Stim yet. 
we're actually going to see from Leenock an eco bangling bust. So it's um, pretty much is it's nowhere near an all in. You have a lot of drones at both bases, and then you do a bangling bust so that you can just follow it up with whatever. But I'm pretty sure we're going to see a lot of zerglings pop out of here because he was saving up lava for a long period of time. <clears throat> we do see yeah. more and more zerglings coming, being built right now. So. I think I did call this correctly. I'm not sure how he knew. Hassel then just knew. But he's dropping a bunch of uh, bunkers now. And I uh, yeah, I mean, he should be fine. It, it, yeah, of course it's not an all-in, but it will put Leenock behind if he can't do any damage with this. And it's not looking like he will be able to. So uh, this should put Passel in a pretty good spot here after this. Um, I don't know, that's a lot of mainlings. That, uh, that can kill three bunkers pretty easily. It really depends. I wouldn't load any of the bunkers, to be honest. If I was, if I was puzzled then, I would just like leave one marine or one marauder per bunker. Those mainlings are going to explode on the bunker either way. Um, those marauders are in a bad position, I feel like. Uh, there's no reason... Oh, wow, they blocked the ramp, though. Oh, no, they're all clumped up. Oh. It was not the best positioning. And oh, no. Use against mainlings, not the best idea ever. Uh, we'll see if reinforcements can do something. He needs to wall here right away. Ace up, but he has no money, so he can't wall. He needs yeah. to get those SUV, especially the weak ones, off of the battlefield. Like, those guys yeah, don't need to be in front line, for sure. Yeah, he HP. just sent all of the... Yeah, he sent all of the full HP ones back to mining. Yep. Uh, yeah. We have another Baneling bust coming uh, right up, and... Yeah, like the yeah. economy of Leenock is not bad either. Like he stopped at 40 drones, so he has a pretty good economy still. But this yeah, he's, is he's not probably gonna have a lead right now. Or he should. Um, yeah, the tank not with siege yet, and yeah, this is probably gonna be game right here. Yeah, uh, I go bailing bus. It's pretty oh common. Gosh. Pretty common build for Sergs against uh, turn fast expands. I don't particularly like it. I don't like uh, gambling too much. Unless it's at a casino and then I love gambling. But yep, that's, this is pretty much going to close the series here. Yeah, this is definitely going to uh, game ender. And there it is, GG. So, um, so that is it. Uh, FXO does defeat Nightmares, but uh, you, you still have to give it to Nightmares, man. They made it all the way to the end. Um, I'm pretty sure if they would have won this last clan war, they would have qualified for the NASTL. Um, they did take down some great teams, such as uh, MTW. MTW. But, um, <laughs> yep. That, uh, yep. That's going so to be good it. Job, so um, congrats to yeah. FXO, and congrats to Leenock, because the uh, kid is just owning it up. He mu it must be like a crazy hour in Korea, too. But he's just like yeah. stayed up all night, just owning so yep. congrats to him and his team. And we'll be back with more NASTL, NASTL right after this break. action. Darn it, cats.